Hello everyone, Fox Hills Disc Golf back at it here, Gainesville, Florida. We're at Jonesville Park for the Mini Cho, a little fundraiser for the Chain Hawk Open they have every year. With our tournament director, Courtney Riejo and Chris Clark. There's the gang. Here's our lead card, Evan Gerthy, Ed Faulkner, Matt Brown, John Burpee. I hope I pronounced that right. And Adam Rogers. And our boy Adam Rogers. Hole one, 284. It's a pretty wide open fairway. Then you get in there and it's uh, a little congested. Evan's going up super high. Annie. He's going to play like a backstop off the top up there nice. and spin it right down by the basket. It looks like he's going mid-range. Oh, that's a beautiful shot. Yeah. He's going to have about a 20, 22 footer. That looks like he's going something mid-range, maybe putter-ish. And he's got a low line. He's going to grind down. He's going to leave himself about a 40 footer there. John's put something out a little wide. Looks like he's going to catch some of the bumble over there. Yeah, I caught a little more tree than he wanted there. but Yeah, yeah. yeah. Have a putt still. Adam's throwing a line drive right in there and caught a little bit of that tree on the right. He's got about a 60-footer or so here. Ooh. Yeah, he just had to pitch up a little bit. John's got a pretty legitimate putt, really, though. Just a little over the top. Caught a tree. He's in good shape. Ooh, Matt caught center basket, so it's going to be Ed with the birdie and Evan with the birdie. Everybody else got the threes on that one. We had off and on rain and uh, a little bit of camera stuff to deal with, so please uh, bear with us during this round. <laughs> Here's some drone footage in a hole two. That's 290. This, oh, those first trees right there. That's the gap right there to, to be. Yeah. Then once you get through there, you were pretty open for a minute. Then you got to take a serious left, and there's some more trees to contend with. That basket's in the other location, actually. For That's the only drone video that that was in like that. But Evan throws down a cut roller and bounces off something a little too much and got a little too aggressive. Oh, yeah, there's the trees we were talking about. So hard. There's one guy hitting one, and then this guy comes through. Matt skips Ooh. one. Mm. Mm. Man. That was close. Oh, There's a little replay. Oh, man. Oh. Had my heart beating there. So close. So close. John's going to go with some backhand, and he catches those trees as well. That initial gap is a beast, man. It's not even maybe seven foot wide. Oh, Adam's got, got yeah. Adam got through beautiful, and then he catches oh. yeah. He catches the other two defenders down there. They're in bunches. There's like three bunches of defenders <laughs> in this hole. Ed's coming out of the woods. Mm, man, a little oh. short. He's gonna have to putt over that log. Oh, overhand up there. Yeah, overhand for John. Well, he's up in the yeah. putting range. Yeah, he rolled up for a putt. Evan's got a little kneel. Oh, man, he caught basket right there. That was a great effort. Adam's got a legitimate birdie look here. He's about 43 or so. Oh, man, he caught a lot of chains on that one. Just oh. a little bit hyzered out at the end there on him. So Ed's over the log against the bush. About 45, I think. Oh, oh yeah. nice. Oh yeah, Heiser's nice one right in there. I think we'll get a little replay on that one. Beautiful. Bang, he just pitches it right in, man. Beautiful. John with a par save. That's oh, nice. nice. Yeah, very, very nice. nicely done. And yeah, this will be for Evan's par save. And he almost got two but John's the only one's gonna cash two on that one so he'll move to Matt. the front of the path excuse me Matt's the only one that um, cashed on that one so he'll move to the front of the pad on hole three and this hole is a super dog leg oh, right so tricky so tricky or you can take this the, the uh short route to the right but you've got some trees to contend with it's yeah tricky 
this hole's got a lot of trees to contend with either way. You can see that gap there. It's just hard to get a disc turn back right that way. So you got to get some very stable skip or the perfect ante shot through there. But there's also, uh, oh. yeah, yeah. Matt just got a little bit wide there. Same thing with Evan. He just got a little bit wide. Didn't quite get to the catch cam. Now here's the line you're talking about. Ed's going to try to go through now that this uh, tree has been kind of fallen off or chopped off or whatever happened to it. Oh, oh. caught the top of that tree. Ed just caught the top, man. I like that line, though. I take that line a lot here. I, I, I think it's a good line, but it's a, uh, it's tight. John gets through, though. There it is. Yeah. It is a little short. Yep. Yeah, he's gonna have a. He's not quite as happy as you think he would be on that one, but he's still got some work to do. This is my preferred route. I try to flick one down and just skip it just past everything. Adam now just caught some tree over there, so he's gonna have the world work to do. And Matt goes hyzer through the woods and skips one right up there, man. That was a beautiful upshot. Yeah, he's gonna like that once he gets up there. Adam just has a straight little putt up skipper through there and no worries. Yeah, it's got to do a little patent pending straddle action just to get through. And it did a great okay. job. Very All nicely right. done. Talking about some straddle. Here goes Evan with his straddle putt. You can see him framed in there. Oh, yeah. Very Ooh. nice. Dang. We'll replay. Yes, sir. He went in again. <laughs> John's got a similar putt. He's got a little bit more tree to deal with, though. He had to hyzer around that thing, and, man, he's going to have a little work to do to get, uh, get back down for that three. You're going to have to focus here. You don't want to go bird doggy on this one now. Right. Yeah. No, there no problem. Go. No problem. Okay. These guys didn't have exactly the start on these first three holes they'd love, probably, but I bet they're happy to take those pars. Yeah, so Evan with a nice putt, though. He got the two. He'll move to the front of the pad and the front of the card at two under, so he's doing okay. I'd like to take this chance to thank Ryan Woodward for this sweet drone footage. Nice, right? Hole four, 351. You got to make it through that initial gap and over the hump. There's uh, definitely a bit of a hump you have to deal with. You can't really hyzer flip anything. It starts too low uh, or you'll start with a big skip shot. And then once you get up here, you got to get over the log and through all this stuff and somehow get a putt. Man, when you get a two on this one, you feel like you've really done yeah, something. That's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Evan got over the hump, but he's got a little bit high, and he caught some of those that little bunch on the left up there, and he's going to have up oh, and down. Oh, released a little early on man, that Man, Matt, a little early release. Yeah, just getting uh, out of this initial bunker, really, is you feel like you've done something. If you get up to that first clearing, okay, even if yeah. you do hit the next bunch of stuff. Oh, uh, uh, and Ed did not get through the first initial bunch. There you go. Oh, yeah. John's crushed one over there. You just got to weave it in there and hope it gets through. And, man, yeah, nice. he's got right up to the log. So he's going to have a legitimate look at two here. So Adam's definitely got the distance. Let's see if he can uh, weave one through there. Or just maybe pipe one right down the middle. He's got one hyzerin out there. It looks like it's going to make it through, though. Yeah. He's going to have a little bit more work to do than he was hoping for, but... This is not an easy hole. No, this hole is... Get get to get a four real quick. Get a five real quick on this hole. If you don't watch it. Ooh, and Evan has caught early trees on his upshot, so he's going to have another upshot, basically. Yeah, Adam wound up in a bad spot behind that tree right there. He didn't have much either, mm -hmm. so. All right. All right. That was a beautiful flick up shot yeah. right there. And another one. Let's see if Ed can make this putt here. Ooh, a little short, but good effort. 
This is for the two right here. This is legit. No problem, man. Birdie. Bang. I'm telling you. Yeah, you're going to gain a stroke on just about everybody getting a two on this hole. Maybe two strokes. <laughs> Sometimes, yeah. Thank you. All right, we will move on to hole 4B. Right, the new island hole. Oh, so yeah. For these events. So we don't have any. Oh, let's not skip over John's sweet two on that one. Nice yeah, job on that very one. Very nice, John. Very nice. Move him to the front of the leaderboard there at the one under, so in the front of the pad. So nice job. Oh, we can't move on. We gotta check out these sweet shirts first, man. Get yourself one of these wonderful end of the recycled T-shirts. I came out with Gracie in the Marvelous Metal Basket Coloring Book Edition. So fun. Can't wait to get it in the hands of every kid we know. And adults like to color too. Oh yeah. I like to color. <laughs> wow, those voices sounded really familiar. <laughs> so this is the Island Hole. It's a 160 par 3. I really was hoping we were going to get an ace right there. And it started to rain off and on right here, so we had to switch back and forth to our cameras and our phones. And So some of the footage from the next couple of holes is a little bit spotty. I apologize for that, but we did the best we could. That's all good. Right, I know, I know. We did have an ace on this hole. Ken Bess. Nice. In this round. Awesome. On this hole. Not on film, oh, unfortunately. Oh, that one looked like it was almost yeah, in. Yeah, that was almost in. I'd like to thank Tony Piscina for setting up these holes and doing all the work he does out here. Oh, Tony Piscina is the man. All right, Ed was furthest out. He got his birdie. So it's looking pretty good for the card here. Good, Mike. We're going to have a bunch of birdies right here. Yeah. Birdie, birdie, birdie. Yeah, that graphics Wait. department went a little crazy with that birdie Wait. thing up there. Oh, now look at them. they got a star. star. Wow, man. The graphic <laughs> department really went all out They're on this deal. Their game up. I mean, they're really stepping it up. <laughs> Those people are awesome. They're cool. <laughs> Here we go. Hole five is the big boy. You got OB straight down that little line there where that little bitty tree is to the right, and then you are up on the basket. It looks like a roll away hole, but it really doesn't. The ground's pretty friendly here. And John's got one up a little high. He wants it to get down. Yeah, he's safe. He's good. Yep. Here comes Adam. See if he can get one down the middle. Get a look at a two. Adam's got the power. He's got one down there. It's pretty good. Yeah, that's a good looking run. He's still got a 60 footer, sort of a death putt. Out of bounds behind the basket, so that one's a little sketchy. Um, it started to rain again right here, so this, I think, Evan, is the last drive that we caught on this uh, hole. So we had to put away the cameras real quick because quick it downpour all of a sudden and just sort of let go. And So, as you can see, the rain there. Oh, nice. That was, oh, that was a great beautiful effort, shot. though. Yeah. Adam with a pretty real run at a two, and then uh, Ed as well. He's actually got a, a decent looking run here, uphill, uphill run. Oh, man, that was so close. Needs that to get down, no problem. John's got a little rougher looking putt there. He's actually, if he gives this a run, he's got a real chance of going OB. So I think he thought better of it and pitched that up for the easy three. Evan as well, I don't think he wanted to have a whole lot to do with that in the rain and the everything and the yeah, OB right it there. Was so smart. To rain harder and harder at that point. Everybody took three on that one. That was some smart golf. So. Nothing wrong with that. Nope. All right, what do we got next? Hole number six. Hole number six. One of my favorites. Stop. 
Mine too. You gotta get over that path uh, through those trees and then somehow get around the big tree and stay off the OB. Or under it or... Something. John did not do any of those things. He went over to the top and kind of went OB. Adam's got one over. All right. Man, there you go. He That's slid one right up do. there. That's how you do it, man. Evan's gonna throw it right at that camera guy. Boom. Look out, camera guy. Oh, uh, he's fine. <laughs> oh, very nice. Yeah, Evan threw oh. something a little stable there. and Yep, he's got about 15, 17 footer for bird. No problem. Super cool. I think Matt's gonna try the same line. And he got that uh -oh. tree instead. Caught the tree. But he fell down. He's in bounds. He's just got That's so tricky, though, because yeah. those next trees up there are so low hanging that yeah uh, it's it's difficult yeah he's gonna have a funky little shot to get up there ob behind the basket so ed's going the old heiser route around can i get to get some wet skip yeah yeah nice shot all right he's got a low ceiling deal with two about a 45 foot or so oh man oh, that was a great one. run with that oh, ob was... right there and stuff so that was pretty pretty beefy that was good he could still see it was from where he was at yeah Adam for his two. Oh, man, he skips it right off the top of the basket. Oh, boy. And apologize for a little bit of the fogginess. I think that the uh, rain may have started fogging up the lens here for a few minutes. But trust me, that clears up here after this hole. So yeah. Stay well, with I us. still get the idea. Yeah. <laughs> people playing disc golf. They're putting. It's a little fuzzy. I know that dude. I know that still guy. Evan. What a girthy dude <laughs> with a very nice birdie, by the way. John very with a beautiful nice. cleanup, too, as well. So, definitely like to thank some of our sponsors right now. And um, let's see, we got Evan with a two on that one. So, he will jump back to the front of the pad and our leader board. Yeah, moving on to hole 6B, one of our other temporary locations. Yeah, this is a beautiful location. I'd like to thank the neighborhood for loaning us the green there. Oh, yeah, very nice. So this one's 236, no OB really, unless you go really nuts and throw it into somebody's house. But I don't think anybody <laughs> did that, so. Evan goes spiky, something stable, and he skips out there, man. He's going to have a little bit of work to do to get the two on that one. And he knows he uh, <laughs> left himself a little bit there, so. John looks like he's lined up to go a little bit more actual hyzer and back towards the basket. Mm -hmm. But, he yeah, he might have gripped one. Like I said, it was raining and it's super wet out there and easy to grip lock one in these conditions for sure. Yep. Adam's going up pretty high too, something spiky. Takes a little bit too much off. And as you can see, there's a little gully down there in front or a gulch. I'm not sure which one. We'll have to ask Sport about that, which one that is. <laughs> but. Oh, and Matt makes it over the gulch. Yep. Yeah. We're going with Gulch. I think so. <laughs> so Ed looks like he's got something a little more mid-rangey, going a little straight at it. That's the way I play it. And he's I caught the, the side of the hill there. Yeah, he's got the side of it. Right, and, yeah. John's got an uphiller about probably 55 or so. Oh, Man, oh, just almost. just off the top of the cage. That's too bad. That looked good. Evan just outside the circle. No problem. Nice yeah. bird. Yeah, that looks so effortless. Great putt. Those girthies do that. Mm-hmm. All right, Adam steps up next. He's got a little funky footing with the uphill uh, basket basically above his head. Bang. No problem. Very nice, Adam Rogers. Ed also just steps up and just drains it in there. Beautiful shot. Matt's going to see if he can get the two as well. Bang, just that easy. Yeah. That All right. Fun. Yeah. I think John got one on the last one and gave one back. So, you know, I don't know. I'm sorry about that. Evan got both of those. So. Evan moves to four under, looking, looking strong. So. Here we go, hole seven is 416. Got a little gap to start off with, and then you have to get over the gully. <laughs> it's a very beautiful hole. It's just, I love this one. 
Yeah, this is disc golf when you look at this hole. This drone footage is so sweet to see it from up here. Just showcases it and looks beautiful. Anyway, you got to get down about 375 to get past these trees. And then you want to kind of skip back in there and get towards that basket. It's very tubable, but it takes something to get down there. Evan looks like a little bit of an early release on that one. Got a pretty sweet skip though. Yeah, yeah. Adam crushes one out a little bit wider and man, Ooh, he's got a beautiful nice. line. Oh, oh, he catches a sweet oh, tree kick. No, he's okay. All right, sweet. It looks like he's got that's about a 50 though. footer there. So that's a great reaction. Oh, he's gonna Matt, catch some yeah, he caught some stuff. He's gonna wind down near the bottom and uh, he'll have to get up and down from there. Ed's so let one go a little bit high, caught a little bit of stuff and a little bit more stuff and came down with a favorable kick roll though, so he'll have yeah. a pretty easy up and down from there. John's gonna see if he can do a little bobbing and weaving through here. Weaving and bobbing. Oh, this looks good. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Very nice. That's what you want right there, yeah, man. That's the way you do it. Yeah, buddy. A little skip, a little roll, a little twist around, bang. And if you don't do that, then you do that on the next one. There so you go. That was a great upshot. Evan's going to give it a little bit of a run. Mostly a layup, though, so that was a great shot. Ed's got to straddle around some stuff and deal with some of that moss and got that one up a little high and comes up with a decent layup so he'll have to just go up there and pop that in for the three no worries yeah. Get it. Oh, almost Adam with a really legitimate run there great great effort John though with a 24 footer this is a bonus two right here very nice too yep all right all right, that puts him at three down, and Evan's still in the lead with four down, Fairly two, two, and two, here. so yeah. Going to move on to hole eight. This will be the last hole in our segment. It's 318 feet. There's a mando tree right here. On mando the right. tree right there. I usually go through those two trees, but most people tend to go through the big gap. Meow. But hey, whoa, what whatever. I don't know. Sound effects. That was weird. What Those people need to tighten saying? up. You got to get it up there and hyzer it in, skip it in there in between all those trees and make yourself a putt. So, you know. John tries to go out and get the big one and bang, oh, caught it. the tree. And he's going to have to go look for that one for a second. Oh, Evan with a little bit of early release, and he caught that super early stuff, so he wound up right there by the edge of the tennis courts, I think. I've been there. I've yeah. done it. Adam looks like he's going to go more of a beeline right, right down the middle, something a little less stable. Come on out. Yeah, he just right. never stabled up for him, but hey, he's got a run at it, and he's in the clear, so, you know, uh, that's a good shot. Oh, Ed Faulkner. Did. We just got Ed Faulkner. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> that shot went somewhere. I don't know what happened. <laughs> hey, here he comes himself. He He's going to try to let one go. He's just a little early release, not oh. super happy with that one, and it just highs it out early on him, and it was wet and everything. And I so, like that, dude. T-Pow is wet. Discs are wet. Your hands are wet. It's tough. Evan's got some work to do over here, man. He is in a very unfavorable position. Gets underneath there and lets one rip and, and it wound up somewhere down there because the catch cam guy had to change his camera out again because oh, it started raining again. Oh, so again, yeah, complications. <laughs> filming disc golf in the weather. Yeah. Hey, we got we got some coverage. <laughs> yeah, we got some coverage here. <laughs> we got Ed fighting through there to find his disc and he's got a upshot through a bunch of stuff. 
So he goes patent pending and grinds one up there. Looks like he's about circle's edge or maybe right. just inside the he's circle. He's got I that. Think. He can do that. Yeah. So Matt's got a legitimate look here and just hides he out a little bit on him, but he gave it a really good run. Adam wound up pretty good here. He's got a pretty uh, open look. Oh. Man, oh. just caught the top and no love. Adam's been mm -hmm. just like on the edge of greatness. Mevin just ran that one by a little bit. John's going to be straddling out from uh, from the bumble a little bit there. He's probably about 33 or so out, I want to say. Nice. Bang! Great putt, Brumble. man. Brumble? Brumble. The bumble. Bumble? Is the it bumble? The bumble putt. Oh, that's a bummer. He let that one get away from him. Dropped it just a little bit. Man. Gotcha. And that one hurts. It'll take care of it, and uh, everybody else is going to putt on out here. And we'd just like to take a moment to thank Ian Cottrell for jumping on the camera for me so my camera girl could play in this event. Yeah, yeah, I got to play. It was fun. Yeah, great event. So that'll put Evan at three down, three down for John, two down, two down, and one down for Adam, Ed, and Matt. And um, you guys stay tuned, and we'll be back as soon as possible with part two. Woohoo.